The difference between a nominal interest rate and an effective interest rate is compounding. Nominal rates always assume an annual or per annum or per year, but effective recognizes that when we compound more frequently than per year, the effective rate is going to be higher than the nominal. So how do we translate a nominal or a name or a stated interest rate into an effective interest rate? 1 plus R over the number of compounding periods a year raised to the number of compounding periods per year minus 1. So you could work out an example. If I said a 12% interest rate compounded monthly, you would compute the effective rate like this. But there's a special case, and that's continuous compounding. Continuous compounding means that the number of compounding periods in a year is infinity. And the limit of this equation as n approaches infinity is e to the r t. So if we were going to compute the effective rate for a nominal rate of 12% a year, con compounded continuously, it would be e to the 0.12. Work that out and send me the answer on Slack. I didn't get it.